One of the things that I have uh, discovered um, is that um, many Muslims, and I'm talking about believing, practicing Muslims, um, are scared to death of their own tradition, including the Sira. They're scared to death of it because for some reason, their sense is that this thing is going to trap me <laughs> in a mode of being that may make it more rather than less difficult for me to negotiate my way in society in my everyday life. Right? Um, this, and this is tragic. I mean, this is really tragic. I mean, how can we benefit from the thing that we instinctually want to avoid? H how can we do that? And I think that one of the things that um, you know, we, we have to confront as a community is why this is. Why are we afraid of our tradition? And there's a, see, it's already getting heavy. I can feel it already. See there? Um, um, well, the good news is that we don't have to be afraid. This is our empowerment. This is our liberation. And I think that um, once we are empowered as a community to deal with the sira as a public document, and by that I mean as something to which we all have equal access that becomes the basis of how we negotiate our issues among us, then we will begin to see the power of the sira. I mean, and how it can empower us.